Today, we'll be looking at chandeliers worth more than houses. Here are the top 15 most spectacular chandeliers. Number 15, Palace of Versailles, Paris. France's King Louis XIV began the expansion of a hunting lodge to turn it into a royal palace in 1682. And in just over a century by the time of the French Revolution, it had become the Palace of Versailles, which remained to this day one of the most lavish structures in the world. It is now one of the most popular tourist destinations in France, with almost 8 million visitors each year, all of whom want the chance to see the architecture, monuments, artworks, and incredible gardens for themselves. Arguably the most impressive room is called the Hall of Mirrors, which as well as being full of ornate mirrors, windows that look out onto gardens and frescoes, has also been the site of a number of historically important events, such as the proclamation of the German Empire and the signing of the Treaty of Versailles that brought an end to the First World War. Hanging from the ceiling of the room are 17 large chandeliers and 26 smaller ones, all of which are made from solid silver. In total, they hold more than a thousand candles, and the reflection of the light creates an unbelievable ambiance in the room. It was these chandeliers that inspire royal families across Europe to commission their own, and the Hall of Mirrors is credited with turning the light fixtures into a sign of wealth and power throughout the world. Number 14, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, Abu Dhabi. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is the largest mosque in Abu Dhabi, and particularly during Eid, can host up to 41,000 people per day. It took 11 years to build and it was completed in 2007, and it now covers an area of around 30 acres. The main prayer hall itself has a capacity for 7,000 worshippers at a time, and there are two smaller prayer halls as well. The gardens, which are exquisitely designed, and the whole site is covered in marble from five different sources. The floral courtyard, which covers an area of 180,000 square feet, is the largest marble mosaic in the world, but that's just the beginning of the ornate designs throughout. The carpet in the main prayer hall is the largest in the world, weighs 35 tons, and took two years to weave its two and a quarter billion knots. Chandeliers play an important role in illuminating the interior spaces, and the developers imported seven custom-designed pieces from the Fostig Company, that's based in Munich, Germany. The largest of them is the third biggest chandelier in the world, at 33 feet wide and 49 feet tall, and is simply breathtaking to see in real life. It's the main prayer hall and weighs 12 tons, and is designed to be a contemporary take on a chandelier. It's made from gilded stainless steel and brass, and is plated with a large amount of 24 carats of galvanized gold. Number 13. Chandelier Bar, Las Vegas Las Vegas is a place that's known for its excess, taking ideas born in other parts of the world and putting their own unique take on things. It's for this reason that along the Strip you'll see a replica of the Eiffel Tower and of Egypt's pyramids. But it's just not the building facades that have taken inspiration from elsewhere, the interiors do too. Inside the Cosmopolitan Hotel you'll find a chandelier that's so huge you can actually visit a bar to buy drinks inside it. It's actually a three-story chandelier that contains a series of different bars and lounges and is a destination in its own right. It was designed by the Rockwell Group and Focus Lighting and covers an area of 10,000 square feet, within which there are four bars as well as a fifth that's on the ground floor below it. To create this effect required the installation of 21 miles of crystal beads, 7 million crystals, and a state-of-the-art projection system that makes the most of the chandelier's reflective ability. Each bar is themed differently and even has completely unique menus on offer. It's now become such a renowned venue that no trip to Vegas can truly be complete without visiting for at least one of their cocktails. Number 12, Sedlec Arsuary, Czech Republic. With more than 200,000 visitors each year, the Sedlec Ostuary in the Czech Republic is one of the creepiest tourist destinations you could ever go to. It's a Roman Catholic chapel that's beneath the cemetery church of all saints and is decorated with skeletons from as many as 70,000 people. All of the bones came from the graves and local cemeteries that were dug up during the construction of the church in the 15th and 16th centuries. Since then, they've been rearranged to become what they have today, and the central feature hanging from the ceiling is the most unique chandelier you'll see anywhere in the world. It, too, is made from human bones, and is said to include one of every type of bone in the human body. It's surrounded by skulls along the ceiling and is flanked by bell-shaped mounds that are also covered in skulls, which is near to the signature of the artist who created the designs which again was made from human bones. At nighttime, the ossuary is plunged into darkness, and when it's lit by candles from the chandelier, it's bound to send shivers down your spine 
as the skeletons around you almost appear to come to life. Number 11. The Jai Villas Palace Houses, India The Jai Villas Palace in Gwalior, India was built in 1874 by Maharaja Hiraj Bahadur, who was at the time the Maharaja of the region. What's unusual about it is that it has a classic European aesthetic and it was designed by Sir Michael Philos and incorporated a Tuscan-inspired first floor, an Italian Doric second floor, and a Corinthian third floor. Covering an area of one and a quarter million square feet, the most impressive room is the Durbar Hall, which is decorated with gold furnishings and has two gigantic chandeliers. According to legend, architects had to ensure the ceiling was strong enough to support these chandeliers, which weighs three and a half tons each. And to do so, they suspended eight elephants from the fittings. Once this was found to be successful, the 41-foot-tall chandeliers were hoisted into place, with each having 250 light bulbs to illuminate the stunning surroundings. Originally used as the official residence for the ruling family, the palace was converted into a museum in 1964. There is, however, a part that's set aside and remains as a private residence for the remaining descendants of the Maratha Sindhya dynasty. Number 10. St. Peter and Paul Cathedral, St. Petersburg Located within Peter and Paul Fortress in St. Petersburg, Russia, the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral is the oldest landmark that still remains in the city after being built in the late 18th century. It's a Russian Orthodox building and is regarded as the most important Orthodox cathedral in the world, so plays a central role in the religion. It's there, for example, that virtually every emperor and empress of Russia has been buried since 1725, with the final emperor Nicholas II only being interred there in 1998 after the discovery of his remains. As you'd expect from such a place, it's lavishly designed and decorated and is a fitting resting place for Russian nobility. The bell tower is particularly impressive and is the tallest orthodox bell tower in the world, and the interior rooms are equally as grand. The main hall is where you'll see one of the most opulent chandeliers in all of Russia, which is made up of three tiers and thousands of crystals and diamonds. It's suspended from a ceiling that's covered in mosaics and frescoes, all of which have been specifically designed to reflect the light and create a wealth of color in every direction. Number 9. Washington State Capitol Building, Washington The Washington State Capitol Building is one of the most recognizable structures in the whole of the U.S. Starting out as a wooden framed building in 1854 where the legislature could meet, construction of the main Temple of Justice was completed by 1920, and additional buildings were completed soon after. The most dominant feature of all on the grounds is the legislative building, which has a 280-foot high dome, which is the tallest such feature in the Americas, and the fifth tallest in the world. There are a number of features that commemorate Washington's addition to the Union when it became the 42nd state, including 42 steps that lead to the entrance and a 42-star flag in the flag room. The interior of the main chamber is adorned with artifacts and marble from five different countries, and it also contains the largest collection of Tiffany bronzes in the world. It's also where you'll see the final large commission that Tiffany undertook before his death in 1933, the huge chandelier that hangs from the ceiling. Weighing 10,000 pounds, it's 25 feet tall and is suspended 50 feet from the floor by a 101 foot long chain. Covered by representations of human faces, figures, and 202 lights, it's so big that it's said that you could fit a Volkswagen Beetle sideways inside it. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Dolmabachi Palace, Istanbul Built between 1843 and 1856, the Dolmabachi Palace in Istanbul, Turkey was designed to be a modern palace for the Sultan at the time, Abul Mesid I. It cost the equivalent of $1.5 billion in today's money to build which represented a quarter of the country's entire yearly tax revenue. It acted as the administrative center of the Ottoman Empire for 30 years, and again between 1909 and 1922, but is now overseen by a national heritage organization. It's Turkey's largest palace with 285 rooms, 46 halls, and six bath halls, and borrows from several architectural styles from across Europe. The palace is decorated with more than 14 tons of gold on its ceilings alone, one of the most impressive features is the large bohemian crystal chandelier that's in the ceremonial hall. It was originally thought that this had been a gift from Queen Victoria, but a receipt found in the archives in 2006 shows that it was, in fact, paid in full for a huge sum. Weighing 4.5 tons, it has 750 lamps and is a fitting centerpiece. 
It's not the only chandelier in the palace, of course, and the building is also said to house the largest collection of Bohemian and Baccarat crystal chandeliers in the world. Number 7. The Metropolitan Opera House, New York The Met is one of the most important cultural centers in the United States and is home to the Metropolitan Opera Company and the American Ballet Theater. The current building was opened on Broadway in New York City in 1966, and so much effort went into perfecting the acoustics that test included the loudest note possible being played by an orchestra and the firing of a shotgun. Since opening, it's been continuously upgraded and remains one of the most state-of-the-art performance facilities in the world that can stage even the most demanding performances, with its network of hydraulic elevators and motorized stages. Of course, none of this is visible from the audience perspective, and even more effort was put into surrounding them with a stunning environment. The lobby contains an array of 11 chandeliers that are described as representing constellations, with moons and satellites extending in all directions, and the main auditorium contains a further 21 chandeliers that match them. The largest of them is 18 feet in diameter, and they're crucial to the overall feel of the place. All of the chandeliers were provided to the Met by the Austrian government, not as a gift, but as reparation for American help during the Second World War. Between them all, there are more than 49,000 crystals, and 12 of them are mounted on winches so they can be moved out of the way during performances to prevent them from obstructing the view of the audience. Number 6. 360 Mall, Kuwait The 360 Mall in Al Zahra, Kuwait was opened in 2009 and is one of the city's premier shopping destinations. With hundreds of stores to cater to the more wealthy of society, the architects behind the mall decided that the building needed to exude lavishness, so they installed a $2 million chandelier above the main hall. This original chandelier isn't what you'd see there today, however. In 2011, a teenager who was trying to visit the mall decided to test how real and sturdy the chandelier was, so he hurled a shoe at it. To everyone's horror, it wasn't as secure as anyone had thought, and the entire thing detached and came crashing to the ground. Said to be the most expensive chandelier in the Middle East at the time, this is the most expensive case of chandelier damage in recent times, but instead of replacing it as it originally was, the decision was made to install something more contemporary and a little different. Made from colored glass and itself costing $1.8 million, it weighs 6 tons and is 46 feet tall. It was created by glass artist Dale Chihuly and was designed to complement the curvy linear pathways that weave and wind around the mall. Number 5. Paris Opera House, Paris, France If you've seen The Phantom of the Opera, you'll know that during it, the grand chandelier falls to the ground. Rather than being pure fiction, this was actually based on a true event that took place in the Paris Opera House in May of 1896. During a performance of the opera Helle, two of the 792-pound counterweights that were used to keep the chandelier suspended above the audience fell to the ground, killed one person, as well as injuring countless others. The original chandelier only suffered moderate damage and was soon repaired and still hangs in the main auditorium today. It's in the center of the ceiling above the horseshoe-shaped room that can seat 1,979 people and is surrounded by depictions of scenes of 14 composers that were painted by Marc Chagall. The chandelier itself was designed by Charles Garnier, who designed the rest of the building too and is made of bronze and crystal. It weighs 7 tons and costs 30,000 gold francs, which is the equivalent to millions of dollars today. Originally, it was designed to be lifted up through a hole in the ceiling to the room above when it needed to be cleaned out. But after the incident that took place, it's now carefully lowered to the ground whenever any maintenance work is required. Despite being more than 120 years old, the Paris Opera House still has the largest stage in Europe that can have 450 performers on it at one time. And along with the one at the nearby Palace of Versailles is why French architecture is so well known for its lavish and spectacular chandelier designs. Number 4. Kokatepe Mosque Located in Ankara, Turkey, the Kokatepe Mosque was built between 1967 and 1987. It's the largest mosque in the city, and it's so big that you can see it from virtually every vantage point within the central district. It has a maximum capacity of 24,000 worshippers, and purposefully incorporated traditional Islamic construction techniques with its otherwise contemporary aesthetic. It's for this reason that it's generally regarded as being the cutting edge of modern Islamic architecture. No expense was spared in bringing the vision to life, and while it may look spectacular from the outside, it certainly feels equally impressive once you enter. There are intricate murals and frescoes on every wall wherever you look, opulent stained glass windows that allow natural light in, and huge domes, spacious rooms, and grand pillars. 
You know you're in a place dedicated to God when you're inside, as only religious buildings pay such attention to detail. One of the focal pieces of the main prayer room is the chandelier, which is shaped like a giant glowing sphere with candles suspended around it. Amazingly, it weighs more than seven and a half tons and is just over 18 feet in diameter. There are a further 32 side lights, which themselves are smaller spheres that encircle it, as well as four corner lights in the room, all of which combine to create an unparalleled canopy of light above all who worship there. It's truly one of the most spectacular modern chandelier designs you'll see anywhere in the world, and it's no wonder that people travel far and wide just to see it. Number 3. Blue Room White House, Washington, D.C. Despite being called a house, the White House is nothing short of a palace. Originally built between 1792 and 1800, it now covers a floor area of around 55,000 square feet across six stories. There are 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, eight staircases, three elevators, a tennis court, a swimming pool, a bowling alley, and even a private theater. And this is all before you take into account the secret rooms and levels and the extensive gardens that surround it. With so many rooms, there's the opportunity to decorate each of them individually, and that's exactly what has been done. On the first floor of the White House, there are three state parlors, but by far the most impressive is known as the Blue Room. It was here, for example, that President Grover Cleveland married Frances Folsom in 1886, which remains the only time a president has been married in the White House. And it was also where President Obama was sworn in for his second term in office. It retains its original design and is an oval in shape, but has been redecorated several times since it first opened, although still retaining its blue color scheme. One thing that stands out the most these days is the spectacular chandelier on the ceiling that was acquired during the Kennedy administration. Made in France in the early 19th century, it's constructed from gilded wood and cut glass and is surrounded by encathus leaves. Originally, it was installed in the president's dining room, but it was decided that it should take more a prominent role and was eventually repositioned into the Blue Room. Number 2. Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque, Muscat, Oman The Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque in Muscat, Oman was built between 1994 and 2001 on the direction of then-Sultan, who felt like the city needed a Grand Mosque of its own. The incredible structure was made from 300,000 tons of Indian sandstone, covers an area of 430,000 square feet and has a total capacity of 20,000 worshippers at any one time. The main prayer hall, known as a Musala, is 244 feet by 244 feet square. It has what was once the largest single carpet in the world, which weighs 21 tons and has 1.7 billion knots, and there's a central dome over it that rises 160 feet above the floor. Such a large space required an enormous chandelier to fill it, so the architects turned to an Italian lighting company called Faustig. With a weight of 8.5 tons, it's 46 feet tall and would look out of place anywhere else in the world, except for in the huge dome of this mosque. It's adorned with 600,000 crystals and 1,122 lamps and has a dimming system installed that ensures that it always provides just the right amount of light to the room. Amazingly, rather than lowering it to perform maintenance, the chandelier actually has its own dedicated staircase that allows workers to walk up to it and inside of it instead. If the light from this giant chandelier wasn't enough, there are a further 34 ones on the same design, although considerably smaller, around the rest of the building to create a continuous internal aesthetic wherever you go. Number 1. Buckingham Palace, London it's probably the most famous palace in the world and is one of the most valuable buildings on Earth. So it comes as no surprise that Buckingham Palace has some of the most lavish interior decor you'll see anywhere. Construction first began on the building in 1703. Further additions were continuously made for the following 200 years. Covering an area of 830,000 square feet, there are 775 rooms, which include 52 VIP bedrooms, a post office, a swimming pool, and even its own jeweler's workshop. Full details on the interior decor aren't publicly known, as some of the rooms are only accessible to the royal family. But the palace is believed to have the largest collection of crystal chandeliers in the world. To give an example of how complicated this makes things, before electricity, George VI used to have 30 members of staff whose sole responsibility was to keep all of the candles lit. In recent years, they've all been fitted onto hoist that can lower them by remote control when maintenance is needed. But even this is a laborious process, and according to royal accounts, costs at least $200,000 per year. The chandeliers in the white drawing room, which is where the Queen records her annual Christmas broadcast and hosts important guests, 
are thought to be the most spectacular of all. There's a set of four glass and ormolu chandeliers, which have 24 lights surrounded by serpentine branches, and a 21-foot tall chandelier that's made from glass drops and gilt bronze. It's truly a room fit for a queen. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.